Welcome along. My name's Nick Cree, and uh, this is Business Owners Smashing Online. We have Jemima Ashley sitting in the wings there, waiting to be introduced shortly. She's sitting over in Bali. How good is that, eh? So uh, she's presenting uh, from there, uh, talking about uh, uh, visibility tonight. So uh, before we do kick off, uh, let's find out who's in the room tonight. So what I'd like you to do is, totally optional of course, is uh, come and introduce yourself, uh, your business, and uh, what is it One, that you to get, in, you know, to, uh, get out of tonight? So who's going to kick us off? Your name, your business, why are you here tonight? What do you hope to get out of tonight? <laughs> All right, Fred, how are you going? Yeah, good, Nick. Good, Nick. I always seem to get my hand up first, don't I? Yeah, pretty fast there, pretty slick. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Fred Gillen. I run a digital agency uh, from a home office in Melbourne and I help businesses get seen online. And I do that by having a consultation with them. And at the moment I'm offering special deals so you can have a consultation with me to find out how your online marketing is working. And it'll cost you the amazing figure of $20.22. Fantastic. I love that number. It must that sort of sounds like the year that uh, we're in at the moment. Yep, that's the reason. Awesome. Love it. Love it. All right, and we've got uh, Peter. How are you? Hi there, Nick. Hello, everybody. Actually, Jemima, I am really impressed with you. You're over in Bali and you're doing a session. Unbelievable. <laughs> I love your dedication. My name is Peter Beckett. I'm the Village Market. I'm an Aussie, but I live in Thailand. And I show online entrepreneurs how to grow their business using trust-based conversations rather than traditional sales techniques. And these trust-based conversations create memorable experiences for their potential and their existing clients. And what I'm looking for today is to look at the ideas of visibility that Jemima's got, because I think visibility is the key to success. So thank you very much, Nick and Jemima. Awesome. Excellent. Excellent. Good to have you here, Peter. And uh, coming in from overseas as well. You're in Thailand, isn't it? Is it Thailand? Yeah, yeah, perfect. All right, and we have uh, Lana. How are you, Lana? Hey, Nick. How are you going? Evening, everyone. Lana here. I'm from Exceptional Trade Solutions. I'm based in Melbourne, and we are Trades and Construction Administration Specialist. So we offer a customised call answering reception and admin support service Ooh, dedicated. Check. Not sure what just happened then. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of feedback happening here. <laughs> um, uh, that's all right. Sorry. Um, we offer a sorry, call answering reception and admin support service dedicated to the trades and construction industries so they can capture whenever opportunity, focus on what they do best their trade with all the admin and calls taken care of for them. That is me. And yeah, I'm just looking to learn more about visibility um, from Jemima and yeah, just connect with everyone that's here. Awesome. Excellent. Good to have you here, Lana. Thank you. All right. And we have with his hand up there, Paul. How are you, Paul? Uh, good day, Nick. I made it. <laughs> uh, good day, everyone. Uh, I'm Paul Chief uh, for Paul's Productions. I shoot people with a cannon, uh, which isn't quite true now. I shoot people with at least three cannons. So, um, and whether they're dead or alive, for those of you who know, my favourite thing is working with businesses is to create engaging video content for websites and socials, and for non-business is live streaming funerals and memorial services. Awesome, excellent. And uh, how's the uh, house move? You're all settled in? Oh man, I've just been out tidying up my garage and I reckon by tomorrow I'll be able to get the car in. <laughs> excellent. <laughs> Without going to the there. dump and getting rid of everything. Uh, finding places for things. <laughs> excellent. And I've just unpacked about another eight boxes. Fantastic, excellent. Mm. Well, glad you're here and you're not in the garage unpacking. All right, let's welcome along. Who else have we got? Oldwin. How are you, Oldwin? Hello, hello, Oldwin Alternay here, known as the Media Queen. Great to be with you. I am all about helping people step up and speak up with their message, with their truth, and help make a bigger difference in the world by getting featured in the mass media. And that involves TV, radio, print media, online media. The mass media world is massive now and so much opportunity here to share your message with the world. And so, of course, it's great to be here. It's always uh, brilliant to be at the Bossio events and always learn something. And of course, anything around visibility would be brilliant. We never learn less, they say. And why I do what I do is I'm very passionate about inspiring more truth and good news in the world to help 
lift the energy on the planet and decrease depression and suicide rates. In the last two, last two years since COVID, we had four times the suicide rates worldwide. So now more than ever, it's important, I believe, that we step up and speak our truth in the world. And uh, great to be here. Great to see all familiar faces. Thank you so much. Awesome. Excellent old one. And we have a message there from Jane as well, who is uh, recovering in bed. Hey, Jane. And uh, she said that uh, she's on the slow road to recovery from spinal surgery and uh, much nicer, nicer to lay flat. Missing your drawing um, and also looking forward to uh, hearing from Jemima. So um, good to have you here too, Jane. You never, never miss a session, I think. So if, uh, even if you were having your operation, I think the camera would be on, wouldn't it? <laughs> All right, and we've got, uh, who we've got? Annie, how are you, Annie? Great, thanks, Nick, and hello, everyone. And yes, get well soon, Jane, thinking about you and looking forward to hearing Jemima tonight as well. For those of you who I haven't met, I'm an animal communicator and animal medium. So I have conversations with animals who are living or in spirit and help their parents to better understand what's going on with them. Uh, so I'm looking for every opportunity to get seen out in the big wide world and to help more animals and their humans. Excellent. And uh, yeah, look, good to see all of your stuff online as well too. You seem to be going great guns. You've got some good visibility out here, out there. So uh, hopefully tonight will help you uh, even further. Great. Thank you. Awesome. All right. Well, uh, that's probably all we've got time for for the intros. So uh, those that have just arrived, my name's Nick Cree and this is business owners smashing it online and are we here i thought we'd lost us but no we're still here so um we do have an agenda for tonight as well too so i've got some cool online tools to uh, run through as ever so i'm hoping that there's some of these that in there that uh, will tickle your fancy and uh, will uh, send you down that rabbit hole to uh, explore over the next uh, day or two uh, from uh, Jemima. She's going to be talking all about uh, visibility and why it's so important in uh, this year of uh, 2022. Uh, our Q&A, she'll uh, um, organise uh, how, how uh, she'll take questions, whether it's to be during, whether it's at the end. But as always, we've always got the chat running as well, so we'll keep monitoring the chat. So uh, feel free to uh, throw in uh, any questions there. We do have a prize draw at the end as well too, which will be well worth uh, staying for. So remember the rules of the game are you need to be in the room when we uh, draw the prize. If you happen to disappear early and we draw it, then uh, we do a redraw. Uh, and then we'll close up um, at around uh, half past the hour uh, and uh, just let you know about the uh, next event and announcements uh, coming through there. But what I'd love you to do now is uh, let's check in on your social media platform of choice. So whether that be Facebook, TikTok, uh, LinkedIn, Instagram, Pinterest, what, whatever happens to be your platform, uh, let's go and check in. And um, the way you do it on Facebook uh, and the platforms are reasonably similar so it's wherever you create a post so on on facebook which happens to be my primary social media platform it's the area that says what's on your mind and when you tap on that you'll get a menu that flies up from the bottom one of the items in the menu says check in if you tap on that that will bring up a list of places probably round about close to you now you may or may not see business owners smashing it online if you don't see it just uh, type it into search uh, at the top and it will come up then tap on business owners smashing it online and uh, you can uh, tag me in, tag Jemima in. If you're here with someone, tag them in. If there's a friend here that, you, that uh, you see, tag them as well too. Or if you think there's someone that would really benefit from uh, being here today. Oops. Uh oh, he's frozen. Hmm. Uh, storm, is it, yes? Has anyone else been having internet problems on the Gold Coast? Anyone <laughs> anyone lately? Because I'll tell you what, I've had a hell of a time the last week. Outages, etc. Anyone else? Oh right. I oh, sort of, I had disappeared on that Back one there. So let's uh, try this again. Okay. Can you still hear me? Yep. 
this up to let me know. Perfect. All right, we're on another screen now. So it's better than before, actually. One year since the internet's playing up. Um, the other reason why we uh, check in as well too is uh, for you to build your own digital profile so that as people are uh, looking at you on the web, if they're hovering over your icon when you've left a salient comment on someone's post, they'll often check out who you are, where you hang out, what you do, and um, and sometimes uh, well, you know, when you check in, then uh, they get to see uh, some of the uh, professional development that you're doing. And sometimes that's just enough to make them curious to uh, click on your profile and uh, to contact you. All right, so I do have some cool online tools to share with you. So let me bring up another screen. All right, we just have to change things around a bit. All right. All right, so the first online tool that I have for you today is one called Reviews Collector. So uh, many of us know that you know, a lot of uh, credibility or uh, the way people shop online is that they ask people that they don't know uh, to uh, tell you whether you're good or not and whether you're credible or not. And they're called reviews. So, um, uh, so reviews are probably the piece uh, of your profile that's the most important because people go to reviews, they have a look uh, to see who you are, and um, they often will make decisions on you know based on reviews. So, um, so one of the things you do want to do is to be collecting reviews on a uh, regular basis. There is a site here called JustReview.co, and how fortunate they have just dropped a. Uh, uh, an exit pop on there saying get a one month free trial so you can try it out and see for yourself what it's like but um, what it will do is first of all you can add your domain into uh, this area uh, on the on the top here and uh, put that in and then click gather reviews it will then go and crawl places like uh, google facebook uh, and your trip advisor not trip advisor um what is it? There's there's a number of places there. Uh, our trusted advisor it is, um, and it will go and gather all of those reviews together in uh, one place. Now you can grab a widget from this and add it to your uh, website, uh, and so that they're visible on your website. And you can see that on the bottom le uh, left hand side of the screen, they actually have their reviews or a review widget uh, down there. So it would look like that on your website. It is customizable to your own colors and your own branding. And uh, you can also go and ask people, there's a process in here to ask people for reviews and to start to collect them automatically. So uh, as I say, this one does have a one month free trial. So you can actually go and check it out uh, and uh, you know, put the widget on your website, go through the process of uh, checking out. And if, if nothing else, just go and click that button to go and gather your reviews and see where they all are around the web. And, uh, and then price-wise, then, uh, oh, that's interesting, isn't it? We've got it in euros. So uh, it's uh, nine, well, you've got a free one, which is a basic one, which will do your Facebook and Google reviews. Uh, and then if you want all of the other ones, then it's uh, nine euros uh, a month. So whatever that converts into in Australian and New Zealand dollars, probably around about, I would say, 15 or $16 Australian and New Zealand. So that one there is called justreview.com. Code. Now, if you're not, uh, if you're struggling to read the link uh, at the top of my screen, don't worry. We're going to pop that into chat. So, if you're not sure where chat is, if you have a look at the bottom of the screen, there is a little speech bubble icon, which is the chat icon. If you uh, click on that, it'll open up chat. You can already see people are uh, introducing themselves and having a conversation in there. We will drop all of their links into there, and you can see the just review link is in there at the end of the evening or as you go through the evening. In fact, if you click the three little dots on the bottom right hand side, uh, then you can save that chat to your computer and you can save it progressively throughout the evening. So you can save it now and uh, save it progressively throughout the evening and it will just keep adding to that same file. All right, that is our first one. Next one is one called Guestio. So for those of you that either have podcasts 
or you are wanting to be a guest on other people's podcasts, Guestio is a service you to go and find some pretty awesome podcast um, uh, presenter or interviewers, so people you can interview on your podcast and to get onto uh, their podcast as well. So they've got a free option and they've got a pro option as well. They've got an option for you as a podcast guest and they have an option for you as a podcaster looking for guests. So um, if we have a look at that, uh, if we can find, where are we? Claim a free account, I've already done that. So there is an area where we can go and find it. Yeah, if we go down to the bottom here in Marketplace, you can see one that says for guests and one that says for platforms. So each of those open up in a separate uh, place. And uh, so you can um, now filter through and look for guests. So you can see on the screen here, these are people that are willing to appear on your podcast. We've got Manny Pacquiao. So for those that are in the Philippines, we'll know Manny, who was the world champion boxer. Uh, so he is uh, available to be, to be interviewed. Now, a lot of these people here, you do pay for them to be on your podcast. So if we so click on see price, and let me just sign in. I have signed into this already before, but this will now give us the price. All right. So there we go. Uh, so he's quite an expensive one at... Um, at uh, fifteen thousand dollars for fifteen minutes, or a thousand dollars a question, so he would be one of the uh, more expensive ones. But if you go back and have a look at some of the other ones, I think it saw. Uh, let's see if we can get back to our screen. Okay, we can look at uh, someone like. Let's get rid of that. Uh, John Lee Dumas. So he's uh, anyone doesn't know John Lee Dumas. He uh, created a podcast. We podcast, so I had a podcast every day for a, uh, a number of years. Uh, and you can interview him. He will appear on your podcast for $150. So in the business arena, that's that's pretty good value. And um, worth um, it may be worth sort of, uh, having him on to uh, attract those eyeballs to your podcast. So, um, so there's a number of guests in here. And you can also list yourself, create a uh, profile for yourself and list yourself um, so that you can get picked up by uh, you know some some podcasters as well so it's not limited to, to uh, just famous people you can you can get on there as well and then you've got a whole host of podcasts so these are the platforms so you can search through some of these in fact you can filter them down as well so if we filter them by business and let's say entrepreneurship then you can have a look at the podcasts that are on entrepreneurship and you can reach out and apply to be a guest on these podcasts as well too. So they do have, this uh, service does have a free plan and it also has the paid plan as well too. But uh, the free plan is enough for you to you know, have a look around and actually find some uh, podcast platforms for you to be interviewed on. So there you go, there's uh, for those looking for guests and those looking to be on podcasts, great little platform to uh, really uh, help to get you onto the international stage. So that one there is guestio.com. All right, next one I have for you is, I have actually profiled this one before, but I have brought it back again because it's such a uh, helpful tool. We use this one all the time. Uh, it's one called writesonic.com. And what it does is it is an AI tool that helps you to react, uh, create content and it helps you to generate ideas as well too. So um, if we sign into it, I'll give you a quick look through it. Just have to remember what password and username I use. I often sign up with two, one to check it out, one to use it for real. All right, so once, you, once you're signed into it, then uh, you've got a whole range of options in here. So things like Instagram uh, captions, TikTok hooks, short LinkedIn posts. You've got uh, article writer and blog writer. I, I, I do have to say that uh, for the blog writer writing articles, it's pretty good, but you do, uh, it, it's really just to start. You do need to edit them so that it comes out with your voice and it's not uh, you know, really generic. Um, Facebook ads, that type of thing, great for uh, starting to uh, uh, you know, with a copy for your ads uh, and, uh, you know, things like YouTube intro. So there's a whole heap of things that you can do in here. And uh, if nothing else, it is a great way to uh, generate ideas 
to uh, help you with your content creation. Now, uh, it's not free. This one's paid. They do have a free trial, but uh, you can buy uh, credits as you go so that uh, you, you're able to uh, have the uh, funds there to create you know the content that you want but it is reasonably inexpensive as well too but if you have a look at the uh, site uh, writesonic.com it'll give you the pricing there and uh, all the features but uh, this is just a quick look uh, inside actually this instagram captions one is uh, quite new there we go so that's what it looks like uh, when we're creating so captions so you can put a uh, a title in there so let's say um Oh, what are we talking about? Visibility, become visible. There you go. So we can uh, pop a title in, then you can uh, pop your uh, description in there, uh, add a tone of voice, what language you want it in. Uh, so obviously English for here. And uh, then you can click the generate Instagram captions. There you go. So it wants the description to be uh, filled out. Uh, and then it would then go and ge generate a number of captions. Uh, let's see if we can uh, put something in here. Um, uh, you know, to generate Oops, I can't even type on this computer how to generate leads customers by being in your pond there you go there's a description. All right, so once we've done that there, then we can then click uh, generate uh, captions. And then down the right hand side, it will generate around about 10 captions there to um, uh, for you to uh, use or edit or uh, change as you uh, as you will. All right, that's taking a while to uh, come through. It could in fact be the internet connection here with uh, all the rain. So, but what you will see is when you're in it, that there'll be sort of uh, a number of our uh, captions on the uh, right hand side. Oh, there we go, come through. So we've got uh, two captions in this case here. So uh, you can choose any one of those, uh, or if you don't like any of those, then you can just hit the regenerate captions and it will do uh, others uh, until you find one that you like or one that you can edit. So uh, a whole lot of things there uh, that you can use this for, e-commerce description, social media, website copy, ads and marketing, so have a play, have a look, and uh, but as I say, it's a very helpful tool uh, and certainly gives us a good place to start with uh, some of our content. So that there is called writesonic.com. But right, next one I've got for you is one called SlideShare. Oh, there you go, it's opened up at uh, my screen there. So SlideShare is a place where you can upload your PowerPoint and keynote presentation. So if you are presenting on say webinars or workshops and um, and these are things that you do on let's say, a basis, uh, for instance, or they, um, or it could be a one-off, you can upload your content, your slides to us. And uh, it then means that they're publicly visible for anyone coming on to uh, have a look at them. So it's a good, it's another, place for storing content. It just happens to be for slides. You can then go and embed your slides into your website. So uh, you'll see that there, um, uh, once you're in there, there's a uh, edit button uh, where you can edit it, but you can also uh, share it as well too. And you can get a link there to uh, add to your website. And you can even have, uh, you know, if you allow other people to add it to their websites, you can do that as well. Great thing about this is it creates a good quality backlink back to your uh, website as well, which is all good for your search engine optimization. And uh, it gives another listing on search if you optimize as well on the search uh, when people are searching for your topic. So, um, so it's another way to, uh, you know, to optimize for, for the search engine, another place to get content out. Uh, and um, it's owned by LinkedIn as well too. So uh, when you do publish here, it gets published on your profile in LinkedIn as well too. So um, if you've got a whole host of uh, uh, slides there, go and upload them now. I've got some here, There's probably more to, uh, I should be uploading to, to uh, this one as well too. And you can see that, uh, you know, a number of views on there, you know, people are looking at this as well too. Some, and we've got a couple of downloads for this. We've got 232 views on that one. Here we go, 2,109 views on this one here. In fact, this particular presentation, create a newsletter in 17 uh, in less than 17 minutes, uh, is a popular one. I do get traffic from that, and uh, when I look at Google Analytics, and um, uh, and and uh, I've had questions come out about them. 
Oh, I haven't checked this one. This one's had uh, 15,000 views, Mastering AdWords in 30 Minutes. So there you go, I put that one up seven years ago. So, um, I haven't, wow, that's pretty good. I'm, I'm happy about that. All right, so that one there is called slideshare.net. Very last one I've got for you is one called openpr.com. Because we're talking about visibility tonight, uh, openpr.com is a place where you can submit press releases. There are lots of sites online to allow you to do that. This one happens to have a free option as well. And uh, you can uh, have your press, you can create press releases, you can uh, publish them there, and uh, you will find that there are publications out there that uh, <clears throat> are looking for the content that you write that will then go and grab these and maybe interview you or uh, uh, mention them or talk about them on their uh, blogs as well. So again, another way of getting uh, back links back to your website. And that there is a roundup of the cool online tools tonight. All right, so uh, love to know what your popular ones there as well. Remember, all of these links are in the in the chat. Now is a good time to save the chat if you're uh, uh, if you're wanting to do that. And uh, remember, you can keep saving it through the night as well too. But just just for now, drop into chat your favourite tool there. So. Um, just give us a vote. Just want to see which is your favourite, and we'll see who's the uh, the uh, the top of the pops in the apps today. So we've got uh, ooh, three votes there for Right Sonic. Look at that, eh? Someone that uh, is going to look at all of them. Thanks, Annie. Right Sonic. So Right Sonic is getting the uh, getting to the leaderboard today. Certainly, is a good app there for generating ideas and content, and really helping with uh, that side of things. All right. Any others there? Any other votes? Can't all be right, Sonic, can it? All right. Time for a couple more. There we go. Guestio. So uh, Olgren has uh, broken the spell. We've got uh, Guestio there as well, too. Awesome. Yeah, that actually is one of my favorites as well, particularly getting on to uh, other people's uh, podcasts and also SlideShare as well. Awesome. Excellent. All right, well, that there is the roundup of cool online tools.